In the diagram, O is the center of the circle. KT are our points in the circle. Um, oh, here, yeah, ST is a tangent. Okay, that's important that we know that. STK is 36. They showed us that, so it's this whole angle. And then OKL is 18, which they've showed us over here. OKL. Okay. First question, determine giving reasons the size of angle T2, T2. Right, well we know that this is a radius because any line from the center of a circle to the outside is a radius. So this one is a radius. This is a tangent and we've learned that a tangent and a radius makes 90 degrees. So we, and, and, and we already know that this is 36. So we could say that um, T2 is going to be equal to 90, take away 36, and the reason is tan perpendicular to radius. And 90 minus 36 is 54 degrees. So that means T2 is 54. This question says, what is angle L? So angle L is this one over here. So if you look carefully, here you've got a tangent, and you've got a chord, and you've got an angle in between that chord. Now, if you had to put your finger on either side of that chord, could you get your fingers to drag along and get to this point over here? Yes, you could drag your finger along there, and you could drag your finger along there, and so what we can say is that this chord is making this angle. So we have a perfect situation here of the tan chord theorem, which tells us then that this angle and this angle are exactly the same. So it's 36 degrees because of the tan chord theorem. This one says, what is angle KOT? Well, let's just put 36 over here. So KOT, so this angle over here. Well, if you look carefully, if you, if you see which chord is making this angle, well, if you had to drag your fingers backwards, you would get to K, and you would get to T. So what that means is that this chord is making this angle. But we know that this chord is also making, whoopsie, is also making this angle. So one of them is on the circumference and one of them is at the center. And we know that the angle at the center is two times the angle at the circumference. So KOT is gonna be double this angle. So it's gonna be 72 degrees. And the reason is angle at center equals two times angle at circumference. This question for three marks, prove that KM is the same as ML. Okay, so let's just write out what we have so long. So this is 72. So KM, this length, is the same as ML. Ah, so in the very beginning of grade 11 Euclidean geometry, we learn about these two theorems that pretty much go like this. If you have a chord, and if you have a line from a center, and if these two are the same, then it automatically means that this must be 90 degrees. The other way around is that if I give you a chord and I tell you that this is 90, then it means these two are the same. One of them is line from center perpendicular to chord and the other one is line from center to the midpoint of the chord. So what they're doing here is they're trying to ask you if these two or prove that those two are equal. Well, those two can only be equal, like I just showed you over here, if this is 90 degrees. You see, you've got a line coming from a center and if that line is perpendicular to a chord, then the two sides of the chord are the same. So all we do is we work in this triangle and we work out angle M. So we can literally just say that OMK is equal to 180 minus 72 minus 18. And if, oh, and the reason for that is sum of angles in triangle. And if you work that out, you get 90 degrees. And so we can say then that therefore um, KM is the same as ML. Why? Because we have a line from the center of the circle. Now, learners get this confused all the time. What made you say that these two are the same? It's because we have a perpendicular. So line from center, perpendicular to chord. Don't say line from center to the midpoint of the chord. Um, that's the other way around. 